So go ahead and sign into your command using your KW login. Then once you're in here, we're going to go down to the designs tab, which is the third from the bottom. Then we're going to click over here in the top right hand corner where it says create design and we'll do the print option. So first what we're going to do is just update our assets to make sure that we have all of the pictures, text that we need to complete this. So underneath the assets, um, you can see there's different options that you can choose from. You can create color palettes if you have a specific color related to your brand. Um, you can also do like the red and black for KW. Um, under the images sections, I would recommend putting in your picture. I'm actually going to do my colored photo because I like that one a little better. And this is only where you're going to put pictures in the text that you're going to use for multiple different flyers. Under the text um, settings, you want to make sure that your info is up to date. And then you can even add in other items if you want as well. Under the logos, just make sure you have your logos in there. And then you can just make sure that you don't need anything else. For now, I think I'm good updating with my assets. So now I'm going to go under the template section. And for the open house flyers, we're going to go under the listing and then under open house. And they have different formats for it, so these are just different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the flyer since we're probably going to be printing this out. As you can see, they have multiple different ones. They're all super pretty. So I'm just going to use this first one. You're going to click on the use in the top right hand corner of that picture. And then you can just go ahead and start editing these in here. I'm going to go ahead and go onto my website and just pick a random listing that we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one since it's a heritage listing. And how you can see down at the bottom where it says courtesy of Four Winds Heritage, and then it says legacy, so you can see which ones are which. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to go in here and edit the info so that it looks the same here. So we'll have the open house. We'll see what the bedroom and baths are on this one. On here, it's three bedroom, three bath. And then you can also edit these two so that you can make them a little lighter so that way all the text fits in there. List price would be 450. And then also, if you do need to get a little bit closer in, you can hit this plus button in the bottom right hand corner. That way you can see it a little bit easier on the eyes. Your belt, 2020. And then 
some square footage. Perfect, so that we got there. This one you just want to put the date and time of your open house. So then we're going to add in the We'll add in the dates and times that we need. And I'll just leave that time in there. So we'll do the Saturday, July 24th at 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then you can open it up a little bit so that it's all on one line. Here's where you're going to put the address in. Perfect. And now here I'm going to add in the logos. So when you click on there, it should open up to your logos and under the assets. But if not, you can just click there, logos. And then what we're going to do is just click this replace logo and then add in our own. I'm going to do the same thing with the picture. So click on the picture and then we'll hit replace. Then if you double click on it, it'll allow you to kind of edit it how you want. And then click done. And then you'll just add in your info. And then again, you're just going to open this up so that way it fits on all in one line. And then this is where you're going to add in your contact info. And then for your app code, that's going to be through command. So if you go to your command and go down to the consumer tab, very last one on the bottom. And then you're going to go to site and app settings. And then under URL, it'll give you your app URL. So you'll copy that. And then I would just highlight all of them and paste it in there. And then again, you can open it up so that it fits on all in one line. And then just scoop this over a tab so it all fits on the page. Scoop this over also, just so that it all lines up nicely. Perfect. And then right here too, this is where you can also add in little details about the house, like if it's in a good neighborhood, um, if there's a pool, anything like that. This is where you're going to have to add that info on it. So once you're done with that, it already saves automatically, so you don't have to save it at all. And then to print it, you're going to want to download. I would recommend doing the PDF for printing because this gives you high quality um, PDFs along with you're able to do multiple page documents. If you do a PNG, it comes as a zip file, so I would always recommend doing the PDF with printing. And then you can also do a download right here. Once it downloads, it'll download here in the bottom left hand corner open it up and you can kind of see what it looks like. Just make sure all the info is correct. It comes with your info on it. Make sure that everything looks good to you. And then from here, you can print to any of your devices connected to your laptop or your computer.